Well, listen, this year's Summer Games in Paris will see some new faces in new events. Making their debut are skateboarding, BMX bike riding, and breaking. That's right. Mm -hmm. So here to tell us about the B-Boy and B-Girl Olympic hopefuls is the one and only London Reyes. One of the two legends of NYC Breakers. Welcome to New York Living Star. Thank you for thank being you. here. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You like that Shaka. Ain't nobody. Hey, she's the queen. She is the queen. <laughs> we have to start off. We have to set a level playing ground. Please do. Yeah. Is it breaking or break dancing? No, no. <laughs> Never break dancing. Okay. Always breaking. Uh, break dancing is a media term. Uh, it, in the 80s, it became very commercial and mm -hmm. people didn't know what quite to call it. They knew they were breaking and they knew they were dancing, so they just assumed it was break, break dancing. dancing. But it's either b-boying or b-girling or just breaking for short. Okay. Oh my God. Now we can continue with the rest of this. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, I, this is this is really fun for me because this is something again I know from probably the media and television wrong is break dancing and we're mm. like going in with an icon to get to the roots of it and laying it all out. It's, it, are you like just incredulous that it's at the Olympics this year? I am so excited to think that what we did as kids mm -hmm. and people need to understand that we were just kids, teenagers, mm -hmm. still in school creating this thing that they eventually called hip hop and breaking culture and here we are 40 something years later to see it in the Olympics on the international platform. It is crazy. It's beautiful. How did you get your start in breaking? What was your b-boy name? Were you b-boy London always? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. uh, all of us grew up in the same neighborhood. We went to the same high school for the Who's most this? part. Who's this? Hey, that was me back in 1998. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I had. I was in oh shape back then. <laughs> the core. Yeah, yeah. Woo. So you got your start there, and I know your homeboy, Chino Lopez, yes. who's unfortunately under the weather, yeah. but he had a premonition. He knew yeah. way back in the 80s that hip, that break-in was yeah. not going to be confined to the streets of New York City. And yeah. what did he say back then? Well, he said back in the early 80s that he believed that breaking should be part of the Olympic Games, and he saw that as our future. And he actually wrote it on a piece of paper and dated it January 15, 1984. I think we have proof. Oh, look well, at that's this. wonderful, yes. Look at this. Okay, he knew. So, yeah, so he knew. He knew that it, for this to really continue, it had to be more than just a Bronx fad. Right. I mean, think about it. We outlasted rock and roll. We outlasted doo-wop. We outlasted uh, all these genres, and breaking is still here, and it's in the international platform. It is Gosh, wonderful. Yeah. I mean, the athleticism of you in that, in that yeah. video. Ooh. Uh, we were discussing this yesterday. Oh yeah, the judging aspect of it, very hot topic. So, what are your thoughts? Um, d d like, is it an art form? How are you judging? H how are you being objective? Yeah. And like, because thinking of, they're going to be judged. They have to yeah. be scored at the yeah. Olympics, right? It's it's interesting because it's something that's still relatively new, even though we've been doing it for 40, 50 right. years. Mm -hmm. But in terms of judging, it's not like baseball, who scores the most runs, mm -hmm. or basketball, who scores the most points. It's a little bit subjective, right? I feel like it's like diving, where there's a degree of difficulty right. and this, the trick or the skill or something. Or, like and like gymnastics, because I assumed, wrongly, that there would be like five compulsory moves, like right. there had to be a head spin right. or a windmill, right. or the, is that the case? No, that's not the case. Okay. Uh, so it, they're still being worked out. It's, it's like anything else, it's the beginning. So you're okay. gonna have some growing pains. Okay. But ultimately, you have professional people that have been doing this for a very long time judging this. Okay. Okay. Well, can we get into some of the competitors because we have an expert in front of us. We wanna throw up some names, some hopefuls, and you give us the lowdown. On who's who? Oh, Can we well, do that we have, for us? Let's start up with fir first things first. Victor Montalvo. Victor, oh my God, what an incredible dancer! What a beautiful story. When you talk about someone like Victor, you're talking about somebody that parents came from Mexico down to America. He's living the American dream, coming to this country. Now he's going to represent us on an international platform, and hopefully he can bring home the gold. You see this? I, got, I just got goosebumps. Uh, let's get into Sunny Choi next. Sunny, what can you say about Sunny? Uh, she's a bright person. I like to say all the time, every time I see Sunny, she brings in sh sunlight. She's a <laughs> phenomenal dancer. She was a formal gymnast. She has uh, great flavor, great combination. She's going to go out there and kill it. I love it. Next up, uh, B Boy Logistics. B Girl Logistics. B sorry, B Girl Logistics, yes. Logan Edra. Oh, listen, Logistics is incredible. If oh. anybody gets a chance yeah. to see her, she is just dynamic. She She's, she's young and fun and energetic, and she's going to surprise a lot of people. I'm so happy that she's going to be there representing us. Last up, Jeffrey Lewis, a.k.a. B-Boy Jeffrey. Jeffro, another incredible dancer that's going out there and setting the world on fire. 
Oh my God. gosh. Bless. Well, we see some, uh, some B-boys over, over there. there. So without any further oh, ado, yes. can we introduce the next Olympic hopefuls? These are the next hopefuls. These are three outstanding dancers that are from New York, New York City to be <gasps> specifically. Give it up for my boy, Ferez. He's going to start it off. Right to his right. We're going to, oh, okay, go ahead. This is okay. B-boy Ferez. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That's what's up. He should be in Paris now. Oh, yeah. Hey. Woo! Next up, his brother, his younger brother. He goes by the name of B Boy Soul. Soul brother okay, number one. All right. Top rock. Love my flavor for you, baby. Let's go. years old, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. This is the future. Yes, it is. Last hey. but not least, B-Boy Muay Thai getting down with it. This is a spicy brother right here. Yes. Look at those long limbs. Hey. Oh, stop. <laughs> what? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What you got? Let's go. Last one, last one. He's about to set it off. Huh? Something that's just gonna happen. Oh my god. The windmill. Okay. Those are flares. Oh, or flares. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Stop playing with me, baby. Oh, goodness. Well, let's let's get back in here. Holy smokes. I'm gonna I'm I gonna mean, come over here real quick. I mean, quick. I gotta shake your hands. I could bow down, perhaps. I know, I know you are you are breathless, but tell uh, tell us your name and how old you are. Uh, my name is Ferez. I'll go by Kid Dynamite. I'm 13 years old. 13 years and he old. Is out of breath. Sir, same <laughs> thing, name and age. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Okay. Mari, did you just see them define gravity? I know, I don't care, I love it. Okay, my name is Muay Thai. I'm 18 years old. I go by B-Boy Muay Thai. Okay, do you have any bones in here? No, <laughs> you have no bones. And last but not least, sir, name and age. My name is Prince. Uh, I also go by B-Boy Soul, and I'm 11 years old. 11 years old. Everybody get back in here. Congratulations on London all of this. This is boys. this is the next hopefuls, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. You guys are going to L.A. because that's the next summer games. Well, these are actually my adopted kids, for those that don't oh, know. Oh, I see. Just I don't see, tell I their see. parents. Just don't tell their parents back there. I like this London Reyes, all of NYC Break, and thank you so much, No, Breakers. thank you. So thank great you, to see you guys, you. and thank you for having us be a uh, part of this. Listen, yeah. thank you for coming. Check them out on all the social channels at nyc.breakers.bboys and bboylondon as well. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how you go on from that. I truly don't. <laughs>